Hi, and welcome to Gates Antiques. Today we're going to look at some export bowls from Asia and do a little compare and contrast. So we're going to start off with some Amari bowls down here, and these are just a you know pretty typical of what we see. Um, you can see the sizes vary a little bit. This is a nice small one. Now this one does have a more complex palette going on, but if you see as well, you know the side is decorated. Uh, just a lovely piece. The more decoration on it, quote the better. Although there's definitely personal taste. This is what I would consider a bit more average for a piece or slightly above average. Nice decorations on the sides, but not as over the top as the first piece. Then we get to this one and you'll see here again, the bowls are progressing and we have nice ribbed and scalloped and uh, they're just really nice. This is also a panel form where you can see the panels change and then repeat. Very classic Japanese work there. All three of these are really what I would consider very normal pieces, and I'm very happy to have them. Now we're gonna look at three more that are very unusual. First off, we're gonna start with this one, which this one replicates the previous one with being paneled, but you can see artistically, it's a much more refined step. Uh, the, the details are just really, really sharp. You can notice that we have this shape here, and I know you can't see it, but this is actually uh, scalloped and ribbed in there. They actually took and worked the clay when they cast it, and it's in a different pattern than the outside one. And you can see the exterior is beautiful as well. This one is also signed. That's the red. That doesn't mean it's always red. That's the signature. But typically, if you see these six blue characters, that's kind of fake Chinese. The Japanese were trying to emulate the Chinese. And then we have these other two great bowls here. These, all three of these are fantastic signed pieces. These two are Fukigawa pieces. And you're gonna notice even that the pattern is the same. Look at this. You have the three sections, the lines and the flower, and you have that replicated over here. This is from the same workshop. This has what we call the red Karancha mark underneath it. And this one has the blue one. So there's a little bit of an age difference, probably something like it could be as little as one year up to about five years and that's it. But look at the exterior of these and look at the quality of the work. And I'm gonna compare these two and look how similar they are, yet different on the inside due to how they're painted. Just wonderful pieces. I'm very excited to show these. These all date anywhere from the late 1890s to the mid 1880s, maybe early 1880s and that's it really, really great pieces. I hope you've enjoyed this tour of these wonderful bowls of Amari. If you have any questions, please let me know. Please be sure to follow us at www.gatesantiques.com on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you.